All right, so this is going to be the start of a brand new video series. Um, it is going to be called Miles Explains. We've got Miles Schaefer here yet again. He's back on the channel. Um, today, we're actually working on the Datsun. We got the car up and running on the road, and we're working on fixing the speedometer because it would just go... <laughs> You'll be going 20, and it's like, yep, nope, 80. So I feel like I'm going faster than I am, and it's awesome. But that's kind of unsafe. So we're going to get it fixed here. Um, we've been looking into different options for it, but he's going to basically explain how this mechanism works and what is behind it. There's a really interesting so. mechanism going on inside of this uh, old Datsun 280ZX um, speedometer assembly. Uh, and there's two important parts here. The first one is this aspect of the mechanism, which is a set of uh, geared drives that run the uh, odometer and the tripometer. And those are cool and all, but they're not nearly as cool as the interaction that occurs between the speedometer cable input, which happens right here, and rotates this piece. The uh, speedometer cable, it has a thing that basically sticks in there and rotates that piece. Right in there, turns like this. Um, but the interaction that's really neat here is between this piece of copper and then a magnet that's located inside of that piece of copper. Um, copper is non-magnetic, but it will interact with magnetic fields. So as this rotates, the piece of copper will move a little bit side to side, which enables the, uh, what's it called? The, 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 the needle. The needle, which enables the needle to move relative to whatever speed is going. It creates a, a mechanical draw for the copper to rotate in the direction that is, uh, consistent with the rotation of the speedometer cable cable input and then there's a small spring that returns the speedometer or returns this piece of copper back to zero um it's really neat this isn't how they uh isn't how they build speedometers anymore but it's a really interesting interaction between a magnet and a piece of copper that has enabled people to build a device that rotates or that records the speed of an input rotation uh on an output cool little analog computer yeah really interesting and uh yeah we're working on you know doing different things the main problem was uh this piece is not supposed to move and as you can see you can move it yep. we thought about doing multiple spot welds so i was practicing my spot welds over here by writing dots in a but it's aluminum piece. so we won't be welding it yeah unfortunate so jb weld might be our friend here but that means i can't put it in tonight so we'll get it fixed yeah, we'll we'll figure it out, but um, we'll yeah. save the the two eighty. Yeah, we'll we'll get her we'll get her uh, running great, and uh, everything's gonna be fixed on it eventually. But uh, and nice, you just got a little 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 stuff on there. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching the video. Um, thank you, Miles, for joining us here, and uh, everybody have a great day. Go cool,